What is up? Welcome to Gone Digging. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to teach you how to clean antique bottles with acid. So here is our basic setup. We need three five gallon buckets, each of them filled about halfway up with water. We're gonna need some uratic acid. Um, this is by Clean Strip. You can find this at any local hardware store, purchase it on Amazon, any of those sort of places. I'll leave a link for all this stuff in the description below of what you need. Then you're gonna need some pure baking soda. This is gonna be our neutralizer. It's gonna neutralize our acid and make our bottles clean and safe to handle. And then we're gonna have clean water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our acid in the very bottom and we're gonna add basically a three to one ratio. For every one part acid, three parts water. We're gonna add about half a box to a five gallon bucket of this and of baking soda and then we're going to use this as our clean water solution and this will have no acid in it at all the other reason we don't fill our buckets all the way up to the top is that we're going to when we're finished with our acid because this is dangerous and harmful to animals pets things like that we are going to apply that into this and our acid will now be neutral if we are going to leave this solution going for more than a few hours uh, even overnight things like that we're going to use a top now we're not going to seal the top because as you can see the acid is working on the organic materials on the bottle and it's creating pressure we don't want to blow this bucket up with a tight sealing top we're just going to put something like this mesh screen right on the top to keep any animals out of the uh out of the solution. So now what you can see, I already have this all set up. Pretty easy to do. We are gonna need some latex gloves and um, some eye protection as well. But we're gonna pull out a few of these that we have soaking, wash them, rinse, and if necessary, repeat. So let's see how we were doing. Um, I prefer to have dishwashing gloves for this. They have a little longer sleeve and things like that, but you don't really need anything real crazy. So this is, a, I've only had this piece in for about 10 minutes. The last thing I did remember I wanted to tell you is that you can use a little scrub brush action, clean it right up. And we're already getting some, some movement of this cleaning up. Uh, certainly, there you go, all of this half of the plate is cleaning. And we'll have a look to see how that goes. But more than likely, this right here is gonna need, gonna need some more time uh, in, in the cleanup process. So we'll slide that on down there and we'll see what else we can fish out of here. So we've got some organic material in there and you can see right now that everything is coming right on off of this. Especially barnacles, uh, anything like that is just gonna slide right off. Now on this one, I did not clean the inside up and that needs to be cleaned up um, with a brush to get that, get that dirt off because you cannot remove dirt from these. Let's see if we can find a big bottle. There we go. Be sure not to splash. Be, this is another really good reason why you need eye protection. Uh, this bottle was found on the riverside, so you can see all these barnacles here just ready to come on off. Oops, don't do that, Matt. We are neutralizing that and you can hear that acid reacting inside. There you go. That's really, really cool. Now some of these bigger ones may need a little more time, 
but we'll just get it started. That's the whole purpose of this. Sometimes after cleaning a bottle like this with muriatic acid, you don't really even need to do anything else. Um, but we definitely need to uh, let this one soak a little bit longer and get the rest of those barnacles off. And again, a great reason as to as to why you actually need this clean water to make sure that you're not diluting the. So I'm making sure all of my uh, chemical reactions gone. We're not any very much acid at all. We're going to go back to neutral, and uh, when that stops bubbling, I'll add a little bit more uh, baking soda in here. And uh, once that stops bubbling, we will know that we are back to uh, back to good. And it'll be safe to dispose of. Now, a couple things I realized in making this video, I didn't tell you one, don't just put baking soda straight into acid, you'll create a chemical reaction that will explode the acid out of the bucket like a volcano. Two is, I didn't show you any of the before and after, so I'm gonna show you some after and just understand that these things were really, really dirty. Uh, I couldn't even tell this bottle had a flash crack in it. So this is a Pittsburgh bottle I found, and it was so dirty I couldn't even tell it had a break in the bottom. So I won't continue to clean this one anymore because it's broken and it's probably pretty common. Um, right now we're just neutralizing air, uh, air acids and uh, we've got some clean bottles down here. So let me show you these. That one is just absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clean, cool art deco period. Maybe not that old, but I bet it'll make a really cool drinking glass. Um, and then we have some of the other ones that is going to clean up with a little bit of scrubbing. It's going to have a beautiful color. Again, another absolutely beautiful uh, wine bottle that from the Civil War that will now be a lovely repurposed drinking glass. Let's go add some more baking soda to that. So there you go. It's really nothing to this process. It's super easy, but it is dangerous. So you need to take some precaution when you're doing this. Um, keep it out of the reach of kids and things like that but a super simple, very effective, very inexpensive way to clean up a large amount of bottles in one go. I hope you liked this video. If you did, reach down there and click that like button. If you're interested, subscribe for more content like this. Um, let me know if you've ever cleaned up bottles using muriatic acid. I'd love to know about it. As always, thank you for watching. My name's Matt. This has been Gone Digging. We'll see you right here. Let's go clean some more bottles.